welcome back to Blondly Honestly. And if you are new, hi, hello, and welcome. And I hope you enjoyed today's video as well. And before I get started, let me ask you all to do me a huge favor. Hit that like and subscribe and share this with your friends so they can enjoy as well. So today's video is one I am very, very excited to bring you. So a few months ago, I uploaded a video showing you guys how I keep my curls lasting all week long without constantly recurling them by um, rolling them up in a headband. And a lot of you were kind of curious on how to actually curl your hair and wanted to see like my different technique or whatever. So I decided to go ahead and give you guys what you asked for. This is going to be a hair curling tutorial but it's also going to be a review. In that video, I talked about how, how I was an affiliate with Numi, which is a hair styling and hair brand. And because of how much I love the two current curlers that I own and straightener, I decided to reach out with them and see if they would be willing to work with me some way to work on this type of video together. They were actually very, very nice and agreed to send me a product to review so I can share with you guys a different type of curler and I've personally never used a curler like this so this is the reverse curling wand and I've honestly never used a curler like this like when I saw the picture like I need to try that one um so yeah they sent this to me for free to review for you guys they also gave me a discount code so if you go on their website and you see something that you like you can use the discount code EDIT20 to get 20% off your discount code and I will have my affiliate link in the description box down below. If you purchase using my link, I will get a small percentage of what you spend there. So I would greatly appreciate it if you could help me out by using my link if you shop on the Numi one. So for those of you who are curious about the Numi curling wand, this is the classic curling wand reverse. It is $89 on the website. Yes, Numi wands and straighteners are pricey, but you get what you pay for because these are salon quality products. So this reverse curler has a 13 millimeter base and that increases up to a 25 millimeter at the tip, which gives you a tight ringlets that go to beach waves with, with maximum volume and dimension. It is made with a 100% Pormaline ceramic and features fair infrared heat and negative ion conditioning technologies. Now, if you're like me and you don't really understand what that means, so fair infrared heat, that sends a gentle heat directly into the hair follicle and out to the cuticle to protect strands over time. The tourmaline ceramic offers a smooth, friction-free surface to reduce breakage and naturally conditions fair infrared heat and negative ions for a healthier heat styling. Negative ion conditioning technology maintains moisture and eliminates frizz by sealing the hair's cuticle while boosting shine. The curling wand itself is clipless for crease-free curls. It heats to 410 Fahrenheit is the max that it goes to. So for those of you who want a little bit more information, the barrel length itself is six inches long and the cord length is seven feet and the wand itself weighs about a pound and two ounces. So the thing I love most about the, about the Numi wands especially if you have bad wrists or a really really weak wrist the cord on the end swivels so while you're doing your hair the cord itself will swing and swivel around so you're not having the wire stuck all up in the way and just being a bother you know what i mean and the wand itself it weighs a pound and two ounces is what the website says and it literally feels like i'm holding nothing like it weighs less than my cell phone <laughs> and another cool thing that numi does with all of their curler wands they include a heat resistant glove so you can protect your hand while you are curling. Just to show you guys, this is what it comes with. It comes with the one glove, the curler, comes with your important safety instructions, which I mean is just like the, the basic electronic instructions like don't leave it plugged alone, don't plug it in near water, all that usually for intended purposes. And then this is the limited warranty that the curling wand comes with. It has instructions for their curlers, their straighteners, everything, and their blow dryers, which 
I really need to get one of their blow dryers. Uh, that, that's that's next on my list. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into how I curl my hair. This is my first time using this wand, so it is a first time experience for the both of us. But I have faith. I'm honestly really excited to see how this thing curls. I've never used a wand like this. Um, I am going to be curling this way. Yeah, I think that'll work. That's interesting. So, um. You know, some brands, when you get a product, it has like the twist tie. This does not have a twist tie. It actually has one of the uh, those, those, the pull through ties. Uh, my hair right now is just blow dried. It is has nothing done to it. So it should curl correctly. Me, I'm gonna grab some hair clips and my brush and I'll be right back. So I just plugged it in heating up and already, um, this is the first Numi wand I've had that does not have the LED screen and temperature control buttons on front. Um, it's really not that big of a deal because you get, you kind of got to trust that the heat setting it goes up to, which I think it says was 410. Yeah. So the heat setting goes all the way up to 410 automatically within seconds. Um, personally, I tend to stay a little bit under 400, but we're going to see how that works with the 410. So what we're going to do first is separate our hair. Okay, now that we have our hair parted, I'm going to section this as well. So we're going to start with this group right here. So this is going to get pulled up and pulled back. Okay, so you want to have a small section at a time and not a huge, huge glump or else it won't hold the shape. So I'm taking this small section right here and the rest of this I'm just going to pin and we will take it down as we go. So I'm going to take my glove and put them on. And these gloves, they stretch like crazy. So they are really one size fits all. Like they fit my fat hand and so you'll be good. And if you trust yourself, you don't need the glove. But personally for myself, I don't trust myself. I, I know I'm gonna burn myself, so I keep the glove. All right, so we are going to start and put the curling wand upside down so that the 13 millimeter um, base is at the top and the larger tip at the bottom so that the curl, the curl goes from little to big. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to take the strand of hair and wrap it around and then just and then kind of curl it up to the base of your scalp and hold it for six seconds and then slowly slide your hair off of it hold the shape of the curl against your hand for a few seconds so that the curl has time to set and then let loose that is a very very pretty curl And this will probably take you a while. Like it takes me probably about an hour to curl my hair because it's so long. Okay, so we're gonna take the strand of hair, wrap it around the barrel so it's nice and tight. Curl the barrel up, the wand up to the scalp. Hold it for six seconds. Let it loose into our hand. Hold it for a few seconds, probably about 30 seconds and then let it go. The, I'm loving how these curls look. So we're gonna keep going. I'm probably gonna fast forward through this because I've already shown you guys what I do, how to do, and all that. And if you want, like if you don't want the super tight curls like this, you can honestly do like a bigger section of hair. Like, that's too big. Let's go with 
Oh, that's a good. So we're gonna go with a piece of hair this big. It's a little bit bigger than the two I've done before. Wrap it around and curl one up to the scalp. Let it loose into the hand. But yeah, you could do a bigger piece of hair and it still works just fine. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my hair and kind of fast forward it. That way you guys can still kind of see what I'm doing, but I'm not gonna talk because it's gonna take me a while to curl my hair. And then at the very end, I'll give you guys my final thoughts on this curler. Okay, so, so far I'm like really, really loving how these curls look. I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my head and then I will come back and let you guys know my final thoughts on this curler and yeah. Okay, so after I curled my hair, I went ahead and ran my comb through it just to get everything even, unkinked out and all that. I am in love with how this wand performs. Um, I really thought it was gonna be like really, really tight and then loose, but it didn't quite do that. Maybe if I went with smaller strands, I did go kind of big with the strands I curled. Maybe then it would do that. But regardless, I still really, really love how these curls look. Like, And yes, even with the temperature at 410, my hair feels very, very soft. It does not feel crispy or burnt like some curling wands can do, or like some curlers do. It feels very, very soft and um, like, like it says, it feels like it did not overheat to the point where it burned the ends but it got it right to the temperature it needed to be to curl. Again, the only downside I can think of with this wand is the fact that you cannot control, let me turn that off so I don't burn myself, the fact that you cannot control the temperature gauge. Um, I'm not too sure if this wand has the same type of setting that the other two that I have that does have the LED screen and the buttons, but there's an auto off feature where if it sits on for too long, it turns off on its own. My straightener does not have that and I wish it did, <laughs> but the two wands I have do, so I'm not too sure if this one does either. Um, I haven't left it on long enough. Uh, it didn't take me too long to curl my hair this time, maybe an hour. <laughs> Personally for me, this wand is up there with one of my favorites. I do kind of like the fact that it's just turn it on, wait a few seconds and you're good to go. Like this will probably be my Vegas curler. Like that, that's perfect for taking it to the hotel room with us. Um, yeah, I didn't really have any negatives about this wand. I can't think of any negative things to say. 
it it does what it says you put your hair on there curl it it gets the shape that you want it to get yeah um I will definitely see myself using this wand more often. It's gonna be here on my vanity to be used periodically. <laughs> so if I were to give this product a like number review, I would probably give it a nine out of 10. And the only reason why I'm not giving it a 10 is because of the fact that it does not have the temperature control. I feel like some people who have more brittle and sensitive hair have to have their curlers set to a certain temperature so that they don't damage their hair, especially if you dye your hair, treat your hair and stuff like that, you're gonna wanna have more of a control over your temperature gauge. But if even if this wand does not have that, they have numerous wands that do, so I'm not gonna knock the brand completely for not adding this into the, into the curler, because it's more of an added luxury than a necessity if that makes sense. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this review of the Numi wand and again if you are interested in trying the Numi wand or any of their products you can use my discount code edit20 and do me a favor and please use my affiliate code my affiliate link that will be in the description box down below. So I really hope this review and this kind of little mini tutorial helped you guys understand how to curl your hair for those of you who do not know how to. Personally, I much prefer wands to curlers that have the crimp tool or the little um, the clamp on it because I always get that crease in my hair from the clamp. This, you're not going to get a crease. And no matter what you do, how hard you try, you are not going to get a crease with it. And again, they have numerous different design shapes, sizes. They have shorter ones, longer ones. They have a curling wand that I really, really want that has like five or six different attachments. Um, I'm honestly probably gonna save up to buy that because I feel like it'd be better for travel. So if you guys have any questions about curling your hair, or questions about the brand Numi in general, go ahead and put them down below. And I want to give a huge shout out to Numi and thank you so much for sending me this wand. It means so much that even me as a smaller channel, you felt that I was good enough to be blessed with a free product to review to show my subscribers. As a small channel, small beauty curator, it means a lot to be recognized by a big brand. So from the bottom of my heart, I really, really want to say thank you so, so much. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this review as well. And with that, you guys, please, if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, hit that like button and subscribe. And if you want to join the hashtag Butterfly Squad, make sure you ring my bell because that way you will be notified every time I upload new videos. So yeah, uh, that's it you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. I love you so much and I wish you lots of love and whiskers and I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye. Thinking it's time I throw all caution to the wind.